This is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation into glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome. This is Richard. I'm getting all set up here and hopefully very shortly ding 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 hey man hey there you are how are you doing tonight well <laughs> I'm not used to set up all the uh, the videos, the feeds, and that sort of thing. So I have hijacked. Uh, I want to welcome everybody uh, this evening. Uh, we have a special guest uh, speaker tonight with us. Actually, would be me interviewing my great great friend Aaron from all the way in Kansas. So Kansas. come on, I'm excited to be here, man. Just sharing it to my page real quick. All right, and I'm going to do the same here. So if you want to share, uh, share, share something about your background, how long you've been in ministry, things of that nature, and uh... Uh, my wife and I planted uh, the Gathering Revival Center about uh, four years ago. Now it's already been four years, and so we've just been going at it ever since then, man. Uh, just a Holy Ghost party, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I do not see it on my Facebook thing. <laughs> Man, now you told me you were the technological one now, and I you're do. the one having I issues. Holy Ghost, come on. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just bear brief, brief with me here for a second. There we go. I see the share button, and I am going to share it. There. And I got one more in my own feed. Man, you're the one interviewing me, but I want to hear about the stuff that's going on in your guys' life, man. You guys have got a pretty uh, packed year, man. <laughs> that that would be true. That, that would be true. And, uh, you know, be honest with you, it, it's very interesting how things actually work out. And just, it, I'm going to say... To see the miraculous in a different way over the phone or in a restaurant and such, it's just, uh, hey, Beth, good to see you. It's it's great to see those things happening and bringing in the gospel. And uh, uh, so, yeah, so we can go back and forth a little bit. I thought about that as well. And uh, just wanted to uh, share all the goodness. And then my wife said at the very end, we'll just say, hey, Jessa, good to see you. Um, go after some word of knowledge and then pray for people's uh, physical needs as well. Yeah, come on. Let's do it, man. I'm believing we're going to see people healed tonight. If you see people set free tonight, it's going to be an amazing time. Amen. I don't know why. My laptop. Okay. I'm all set. <laughs> man, come on, Holy Ghost. All right, Beth. You have to excuse me. I know the IT guy over here. <laughs> So uh, let's just open a word of prayer here. Um, so, Father God, we just thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We thank you all that you do. And, Lord, you know every single person that will be hopping off here, whether it's for five minutes or ten minutes. Uh, Lord, we just want to do your will and your way, Father. There's yeah. uh, everything we say, everything we do, Lord, Holy Spirit, we want to glorify you, Father. We just ask you right now in the yeah, name of Jesus that your presence will go forth right now.
Father, your presence right now. I thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord, it's saturating us, Lord, that we are going to carry us, Father, that we are presence. We are bondage breakers right now in the name yeah, of Yeah, come on. Everything we say and do, Father, that Lord, we just put the enemy on the run, Father. Lord, we thank you, Holy Spirit, right Jesus. now that you come down. Lord, you fill our minds. You fill us. Lord, you said open our mouth and, Lord, you will fill us. Yeah, Father, come give on. Give us the word, Lord, to speak tonight that we'd be an encouragement to people. That, Lord, that may need a touch from you, maybe be encouraged by you. And, Father God, I just thank you for my brother Aaron to join on on right now in the name of Jesus. We just ask you, Holy Spirit, that you come in with might Listen. and in power. Lord, we need the demonstration, Father. Lord, I, 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 I hear the word Sunday mornings, Lord. We, we appreciate the pastors and Aaron's one. But, Lord, we need might and power and wonders yeah. and signs and wonders, Father. We thank you for this yeah. cultivating it, Father. We thank you for the harvest, harvester, harvester. Lord, I thank you for Aaron, who's a harvester, harvester. And, Lord, we just ask you, Holy Spirit, that we just use be used by you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Name we pray. Amen. Yeah. yeah, we didn't come to you with wise words of men, but in the demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, man. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Woo-hoo. I dropped my book over here. My wife said, you need to get organized here. So for a reason, I'm just like <laughs> bouncing back and forth. Oh, man, you've even got notes. This is going to be great. <laughs> I do. I do. I want to share two two scripture verses. I, yeah. I heard a pastor one time. Um Actually, it was Randy. I don't know if it was Randy Clark. It was somebody. He was like, you know, there's ministers who gets up there, and they really don't open the Bible and crack it, but yet in their delivery, yeah, they entwine the message of God. And so I'm like, okay. So for the the deep, deep theologians, Ezekiel 44 verse four says, "The glory filled the temple." And, Come on. You know, the Old Testament is a representation of what's in the presence of the New Testament with this us, Jesus Christ. We are the temple, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are the temple of the Lord. Lord. And uh, I'm going to quote, if you haven't gotten this book here, Glory Carries from Jennifer Ives. This Come on. is a awesome book. I would say if you got the Azusa Street, Street. Um, from a, 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 you can either shoot or whatever. He's a great glory of carriers, but this one here is next to that one there. Um, but I want to share this with you here. I, I was just kind of reading it, a highlight here. What began with the spirit can only continue in the spirit. That's right. Come on. Okay. So it's spirit to spirit. We, too, can step into a new form of Shekinah glory because we have made known the temple of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Come on. Okay. He dwells within us, and he turns our physical bodies into a home, a bod, a bod. Yeah. I don't have that in his notes here, but the Lord's speaking to me. We become the carriers of the abod glory, Aaron. Yeah. That, Lord, wherever we go, darkness will have to flee. And it said the Spirit... The spirit of the glory wants to partner with you with signs and wonders that the world has never yeah, seen before. That's right. Come on. So um, I'm just delighted here. I'm just staring up the pot over here right now. And I know, you know, we, <laughs> we, uh, Aaron and I have. We got uh, some wild ones on here, man. I see Scott Tilly's on here, my friend, Pam Erickson, uh, D that went with us for the trip to uh, Malawi's on here too. So we got some wild ones in the room, man. Woo-hoo! We're going to see people healed tonight. Come on. Come on, King of Glory. <laughs> Show us your glory. Come on, man. <laughs> Let the fireworks come, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm already feeling the glory, so I just I get electrified. I feel the power, the presence, the tingling, the warmthness. And uh, as yeah. you watch this, you know, my friends, I mean, you can just pull the glory. Just say, Holy Spirit. I yeah. want to say this. Just, just repeat after me. Just say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome Holy right Spirit, now into on. my life. Yeah. And Lord, I ask you, Holy Spirit, come reveal to you yourself to me. Make yourself real that I may become yeah. the carriers of your presence, Father. Yeah, come Lord, on. Lord, I ask you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I even see the prodigal son, Lord. Uh, Lord, I thank you for prodigal sons and prodigal daughters, Father, right now. Yeah, Lord, come Jesus, on. That, Lord, they have tasted and see, Lord, that the Lord was good. But at some point in time, Father, that they have walked away from that presence. And, Lord, we ask you, Holy Spirit, right now in the name of Jesus, that you will pull them back, that you will woo them. With the um, unadulterated the love of the Father, yeah, Lord, you will pull come on, that right now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Come and Lord, on. we say, come, Holy Spirit, 
speak to them, make a, a new creation out of them, Lord, that may be follow you. And if you may be watching this on the rebroadcast, my name is Richard Stutzman, and this is Aaron Packard, and we are delighted to have you here. And he just came back from a dynamic mission trip uh, that, you know, I honor, I support monthly Charlie Shamp Destiny Counter Ministries. If you have, yeah, amazing ministry. If, if you haven't um, seen him, uh, please look up for Charlie Shamp, S-H-A-M-P. Uh, Jess is on here uh, as well. Uh, on here as well, I would follow him and his wife, and his wife, and uh, they're just they're they're dynamite. I mean, they're just uh, yeah, they're they're good to follow, and uh, not only to follow, but Charlie is very accurate and sharp on his prophetic words and elections, things of this nature. So just yeah, reach out to for him. But I just want to let you know, for me, and I'm not put Aaron on the spot, but we contribute Kingdom Flame Ministry, which is our ministry. Yeah. We support him on a monthly basis and uh Yeah, great ground to sow into. We do too. And I'm telling you that that, that they're seeing a harvest and uh they're they're not just having glory meetings, but they're actually going out being the hands and feet of Jesus, seeing the harvest come in and equipping others to do it. They're raising up other people to go out and do the same thing. And that's an amazing part about their ministry that they're multiplying uh what they're doing. And so I I, I really uh, honor their ministry too, and it's amazing. I really feel this right now if if you guys are on here, if you know someone who, who has pain in their body, someone who needs a miracle, someone who needs healing, uh, share this with them. Get them on here. We're going to pray for the sick on here. We're gonna, Words of knowledge, I, I, I'm sure, are going to flow here. And uh, Richard loves them. I love them. We flow in them. We're going to see. Lord, I just thank you for crazy words of knowledge tonight. I thank you for just uh, just, uh, just stretching us tonight, Lord, beyond what we had before. And uh we're both believing that people are going to be healed. When I was on here with April, we had four or five people just get healed, uh, just in the glory of God, just invaded their home, touched their bodies. Uh, I don't remember all. I think there were four or five healings that took place, and we're going to see that multiply it, Lord. I just thank you for that and more. Amen. Amen. You know, it's kind of funny, and I'll, I'll share with you insight the Holy Spirit showed me with, with Charlie uh, ministry. Great. Uh, actually, I'll go there right now. And the Lord spoke to me. I said, God, he was going to the most unfortunate in different situations uh, and providing Christ's unconditional love. And I said, God, how does that look to you? You know what he said? What did he say? If you take a cup, finish the rest yeah, of the story. Yeah, come on, man. What's the rest of the scripture verse, Aaron? I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm lost in the glory, man. I'm sorry, I'm trying to finish <laughs> More, Lord. If you take cup and unto one of these, you do it unto the least of them. And and all the Father just hit my heart, brother. And I come said, on. if you want to see and sow and go on the mission field and come back and be equipped with signs and wonders and walk yeah. in healings, then this is what you do. And God just said, I am going to bless Charlie Shamp more over and more and more because of the heart that he's going to the broken heart and the heart mm -hmm. that are out there and bringing Jesus Christ to them so they might be saved that every soul matters and counts out there. Yeah. And so, Aaron, I yeah. just wanted to share that with you in the beginning over here that, you know what, God is looking for those things and it just cultivate. And, you know, one of the things with, with Charlie is on the stage, I was looking out. And it just put something in my heart to believe for the gospel of Jesus Christ that one day, you know, April and I, you and... and um, uh, yeah, Beth, yeah, Beth, come on. Uh, we'll be able to uh, do minor crusades, big crusades, whatever God has for us. Come you know, on, amen. You know, we have big dreams, you know. Yeah. And if, if, if you remember, I don't know if you know this or not, and I'm going back with... Uh, Bryn, she had, Bryn and Charlie had, she had a, a, a photo on the refrigerator of a world calendar. If, if, if I'm wrong, I missed it, Alex, let me know. But they actually had a world on there saying, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go over here, and this is what they're doing today. Yeah, come on. And so it yeah. challenged me, and my wife got a calendar out. like, honey, we're going to get a calendar out. We're going to go over here, we're going to go over there. We're going to bless Jesus and everything that's doing because he wants to pour into everything we have. Alex, thank you for joining, man. We're excited for you. Yeah. Hey, Alex, we love you, man. It's another great ministry to follow, too. I'm telling you, and that's it. We saw thousands upon thousands give their life to Jesus through the signs, wonders, and miracles just drawing them in. Uh, we saw blind eyes open, deaf ears open, mute speak for the first time, tumors fall off, people that couldn't walk uh, out of wheelchairs walking, uh, 
uh, babies that couldn't walk from birth, two years old, start walking, God just miraculously healing them and taking the first walking with people for the first 50 steps. I'm telling you just, and not just one or two, multiple people. Uh, what, my son Luke went with us too. And uh, I'm telling you, there, there's, there's an amazing things that, that we prayed for people and I'm not exaggerating. And uh, we probably saw between 100 and 150 people healed in just a short amount of time. And just the, just the crusades and the village ministries that we, that we did, that's just Luke and I, that's not all the other 30 team members that went, right. they've got just right. the same amount of testimonies. The miracles that took place were just, uh, were just absolutely astounding. And the numbers brought in, and I'm not, I'm not going to quote number, but I'm telling you there's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people gave their life to Jesus. Amen. And uh, it's just absolutely uh, uh, amazing. And, and it's happening everywhere. It's it's interesting that we met a tr uh, uh, a group on the on the way back that was in Tanzania, and they were seeing the same thing: blind blind eyes open, <laughs> deaf ears open. And we're just celebrating them. We weren't like there's no jealousy in the kingdom. They were seeing it, and we were cheering them on. Amen. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many thousands of people they've reached, but they were going after it in Tanzania. Uh, Alex, that's on here. He was just in in Thailand going to some places that were 99% unreached with the gospel. I'm telling wow. you that there are fires that are taken off uh, uh, everywhere. And, and uh, that's, if you guys don't follow Alex and, and Jordan Parkinson, that's Mirror Image Ministry International and, and go follow them. They're great ground too. And they're, yes. they're starting on a level uh, that, that they're seeing thousands come to the crusades. They may not have the 60,000 yet, but they're growing. They're starting off. They're being faithful for what the Lord has. And I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him since he's gotten back. I don't know how big the crowds were, but I know that there were people that there, there were hundreds yes. of people that were giving their lives uh, to Jesus through the demonstration and power of the gospel. Yes. He spoke forth the word and God confirmed his word with signs, wonders, and miracles. And it is amazing. So it's happening all over the world. Yes. You know, there's no competition. We want, the, they want those people to go read duplicate those things that's the beautiful thing with uh luke and i going that i was able to that the most proud moments i was was to see luke grow in boldness as each and every day went by and uh the fact that that we're reduplicating we're multiplying we're making disciples who make disciples and uh, are going out and doing the same things through, right. and, and uh, the harvest field there's plenty right, right now man. there's no competition you know we're we, there's there's plenty to be ministered to and so I, i'm rambling now go ahead what, take it richard <laughs> take it richard yeah, I, I like i you know i love here says somebody you know it, i can't see a little lineup no jealousy in the kingdom of god is very yeah. interesting i posted something the other day because i felt it in the airwaves that sometimes uh, we can become jealous in a wrong way there's a healthy way and there's a wrong yeah, way. yeah. and yeah. the lord just spoke to me he said and i wrote on here in order to accelerate in the supernatural one must celebrate another yeah come on that's if good we do that I love then we are sowing into the purpose that god has for us in the kingdom of god to grow even more so and yes yeah. there may be something in your life that god has the anointing and the healing power of that i may ha not have and say god if you do it for Aaron, yeah. you can do you it, do it for me. You do it for me. Come on. Come on. That's how I get most of it. I see somebody operating and I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. If you'll do it for them, you will do it for me. I need that in my life. It, it creates a hunger. Absolutely. It's, you know, yeah. there's hunger, there's desperation, and there's there's obedience. Come you on. Know, I want to talk about Bentley. You know, he just said there's hunger, desperation, and at the end of the day, it's obedience when you have words of knowledge yeah. to step out and do the kingdom of God. I do want to ask you if you could share one story uh, with Luke that impacted your life, uh, the whole story. I mean, from you showed up, there's a lady there, maybe an issue with the knee or whatever. And yeah, just, yeah. Just the, his expression and just, I, I, I want a detail of the whole scene, if you don't mind. Just share what, yeah. just one of the amazing ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a first. I don't get to pray for a lot of mutes here. And so we were going through the crowd. And, and for me, the deeper I get into the crowd, the more I see. I just, the <laughs> hunger's back there and you just go. And, you know, there are people hungry in the front. Praise God for that. But you go back and, and sometimes you even grab the least expecting one. And, and we come into this, uh, this boy is about, uh, oh, probably 12, maybe 13 years old. And uh, he can't speak. He's got uh, problems with, in his brain and he can't speak. 
And so we're we're uh, uh, sitting there and, and we're praying for him and we have the translator and so it's taking a little while and Luke's praying for him. I said, okay, you pray for you pray for his head and I'll pray for his speech. And so uh, right. we're right. praying and and we didn't see any breakthrough. We prayed again, we didn't see any breakthrough, and then uh, we we just commanded that 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 mute spirit to leave in Jesus' name. And so we said, can you can you can you talk? Try talking. Can you speak? Can you say something? Can you say yes? And the boy he says yes, and we're like. <laughs> We're, we're like jumping up and down. Like I've seen blind, like deaf ears. I've seen amazing things happen, but this was the first mute and I got to do it shoulder to shoulder in Blantyre, Malawi with my son. Oh, and my so goodness. it just really blessed my heart. And we're like going to grab him, take him up on the stage and help build other people's faith, have him give a testimony. Kid said, yes, turned around, took off running as fast <laughs> as he could. There's no way we could catch him. He was so excited. I, I, I don't, I'm guessing he went to tell his parents. I don't know, but poof, he was gone. And we couldn't oh even catch him. I mean, the crowd was so thick, we couldn't catch him. It was amazing. And, oh, my goodness. And, and another awesome. one, can I tell you one more? Yeah, just, absolutely, man. This one, uh, you know, we saw deaf ears, people, uh, ooze, just gross stuff coming out of people's ears, deaf ears opening, blind eyes opening. Just personally, Luke and I, just amazing things the Lord let us see on this trip. And uh, but we were in a village. And so this wasn't at the crusade. This was in a village and we were going through and uh, we went to this house and, a, and about a 16 year old boy came up. He didn't have complete deafness, but he had uh, a high percentage of deafness in his left. I don't know, in his right ear. And so we, we prayed for him. And, and while we are, the rest of the team's praying for this grandma. And this grandma's getting wrecked. Her knees are getting healed. This right. family is just absolutely getting encountered by the Lord. Uh, just a short prayer. Luke's like snapping his fingers. And, and, we're, and he says, he says, he says, here in Jesus name, you know, <laughs> and, and the ear pops open, his eyes get big. And so we have a team member way back and he's here from like 40, 50 feet away, just like no problem. And, uh, and so his Holy Spirit's like, it's just ask him if he wants this Jesus that we're, that, that, that just opened up his ears. And so we're just, you know, we just say, Hey, do you, you, do you want to give your life to Jesus? And Luke and I, we get to help lead him to Jesus. And, and it was just like, it wasn't one of the biggest miracles we saw, but it was right there this family gets encountered by right. the lord and they're like they don't even have an understanding of what just happened at all but the goodness of god was poured out it drew them in <clears throat> jesus truly is the desire of the nations yes and they wanted them they wanted yes. what we have there wasn't a single person that i argued doctrine with i didn't say hey hey this is my bible and i need you point a point b <laughs> point c we just went out and we loved them and yes. i'm telling you god confirmed his word we just we just loved and he yes. healed he delivered yes. uh and, and then this family uh just got wrecked and gave their lives to jesus that was an amazing point uh uh for luke and i because we were able to do that and and it was in such an intimate setting like i love the spectacular that happened at the crusade but we fed people uh we fed the thousands there that needed fed that needed there's some natural things that we did but that intimacy in the villages i really love too and so anyway i'm rambling what's next man? amen Hey, Darcy, hey. I'm going to do a plug for you. Uh, if if the Pakistan – hey, do you know if the Pakistan trip is still open with, with uh, Charlie? It just it just closed on the first, and I think Darcy said it's overflowing. If you're not following Blazing Faith Ministry with Darcy and Brenda Comer, you guys need to follow them. Um, the, it, Darcy can confirm that, but it, it finished on July. July 1st was the cutoff date, Okay. and I believe that it's completely – the team is completely full. And so that's Love Blazing you, Faith Ministries. And uh, they're, they, they're not only doing crusades, setting up the crusade director for many different people, and I'm not going to name them all, but uh, uh, right. amazing people that are doing crusades. And uh, this is uh, his fourth, maybe fourth one he's setting up for Charlie. I'm losing count already. He's got like six cities setting up next year. And two in Pakistan in September and October, the next two, I believe. Yes. And so uh, follow them. They've got a, a, a lasting ministry, a, a feeding program and a school that they have in Malawi, in the long way Malawi. And follow them. Uh, they're looking after the yes. widows and the Amen. orphans. And it's an amazing ministry. And so if you guys aren't following them, Darcy and Brendan Cover, they're they're. <laughs> <laughs> he's wild you just need to get to know darcy i love to never change darcy just get more wild than you are now he's like he's like a bull in the china shop in an amazing way i don't know how else to describe him i love darcy i love brenda they're an amazing couple follow their ministry if you're not absolutely and you know what i really have to take kudos i mean darcy is like a five star i mean to make sure communication all the way there with the flights 
picking yeah. you up at the airport, dropping you off. I mean, there was no, I had no hesitation <laughs> in Africa. It's a bowl in the cup running, running over. over. Amen, Darcy. <laughs> Come on, bro. I got so hit with the glory, I couldn't, I couldn't even hear what, what, what Richard was saying earlier, man. Oh, come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Where's the cups? Pull them over. <laughs> Actually, don't do it More Lord. Coffee or something in there. <laughs> I could illustrate, but I don't have an empty cup. <laughs> <laughs> the best ministering that happens is when no one has to minister at all. I'm telling you, Holy Ghost just comes in. And so I just thank you right now, Holy Spirit. We just yes. ask you to fill each and every home right now. We just thank you for your tangible presence over every single person under the sound of our voices. I thank yes. you for that tangible touch that even your healing virtue is going yes. out into these houses and the backs and shoulders are being healed right yes. now. Test those backs, test those shoulders right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I, I just thank you right now for just, just encountering them in a new way. I thank you for yes. your thick and weighty presence right now. And if that's you and that's your back and that's your, if, if your body's being healed, test that spot out right now. <laughs> Darcy, drink, Darcy, drink, 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 drink. Come on, man. That's it. That's it. I'm telling you, you stay full of the Holy Ghost and you just leak everywhere you go. That's all we're called to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> now I've become prepared a double dancer. <laughs> oh, oh! I, I had a moment, do that I had a moment with Darcy that was oh, I don't even remember all that happened. There's pictures of us laying on the ground, and I'm not sure. Holy Spirit just encountered us, and we just took a, a drink. We were at in front of this uh, uh, this school that has this uh, was children with disabilities, and and the moms got encountered, and we saw some amazing healings that take place. We were just loving on those kids. Right. Uh, some of them couldn't talk. Some of them couldn't walk. Some of them were, were drooling. Some of them just uh, paralyzed. Uh, just just you name it, they had it, and uh, we saw the Lord move in a mighty way. Uh, just, just, just amazing things that he did there each and every step of the way. So much happened. Uh, you could just almost have a, a individual stories on each encounter of, of like every half day that we had so many miracles, so many people encountered so many people giving their lives to Jesus. It's just, uh, just, just crazy. But we were, we were blasted on the ground and I, I was there drooling and snotting. It wasn't pretty, but the Lord was encountering me, man. It was beautiful. Yeah. I heard about the jacket or something. Ben said at the airport. No, thank you, dear. I think I need to wash it first. <laughs> yeah, it's not at all over the Katanji that I bought for that I was wearing. <laughs> oh, we'll let her comment below over here. You had to bring mm. that up, Richard, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I actually, we did the same thing you did uh, at the first in Kenya. We went back like 10 rows and just went across the back side of it, you know, and, you yeah. know got hundreds and fifties, whatever. Um, uh, your left lung is being healed of cancer. Oh, mm. I, I, left lungs being come on, come on. I just if that's you, Frank, and you're watching, you're watching now, or you're watching the replay. Type that in and say that's me. We're believing for you right now, Frank. Thirty six. Your your left lung is being healed of cancer right now. Yes. in Jesus' mighty name. In the name in of Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Thanks for typing that in, Darcy. Come on, man. Whoa. Thank you. Holy Ghost. Let's see if he's gonna. Yeah. Yeah, we saw so many, so many miracles, so many blind eyes, so many deaf ears, so many mutes. I mean, you just come back and we we fellowship. Darcy called it swallowship. We we sit around and we eat and we just <laughs> fellowship and we talk and we just tell the testimonies of Jesus. And and I'm telling you, the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. If yes, any of these is. testimonies that you're hearing, you've got that going in, on in your life. I'm telling you that if yes. he'll do it for them, he'll do it for you. If God will encounter them and, and blunt our Malawi, he will encounter you in your living room right where you're yes. at. His Amen. healing virtue will come right where you're at. I'm Amen. telling you where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There's burdens that are being broken off right now. And I just thank you for your presence, Lord, just encountering them right where they're at right Amen. now in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you for encountering each and every person in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You had notes. I don't know where we're going. It's going off. The, the train's going off the tracks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just writing Frank 36 down right now. Just if you, Frank, if you're on here right now, uh, say something. If not, uh, we'll bring it up at the very end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's a prayer. laughs> yeah, Woo! thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. My goodness, mm. my goodness. So I got a question for you, and, and I could be wrong on this one here. Uh, almost as if I could see you uh, with a, 
hut area with ladies and, and all right. Sounds good, Darcy. Love you. Guys. Yeah, I love you, Darcy. Take care. Uh, almost as if there was a, uh, I don't want to say a 40, 50 year old lady behind you or whatever. You turn around. Did you, go, did you minister to anybody like that? Did you just God pinpoint a female person uh, between 40, I would say 40, 60. And did you just, you went out of your way. I'm asking you if this is, if I'm on or off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, what, happened. I mean, what happened in yeah. that situation? Yeah, we were praying for this older lady at the time, and, and uh, we prayed for her and just blessed her. And I'm telling you, we were just down, and and there were just the flies that were swarming. There were so many flies that she she just didn't even like like it wouldn't even knock them off of her. And uh, this was really? a, a little bit older than you're talking, but we turned around, we just blessed her, and we just loved on her and down with the flies and everything, just loving on her. And she was touched and encountered. But we turned around, and there was this lady that you're talking about uh, by this hut. And uh, she, uh, Luke and I, we went and we prayed for her and she was having uh, pain in her left knee. And uh, we just prayed for her quick. And Luke actually was the one that prayed for her. And uh, I was right there praying with him, but he was the one praying for her. And, and we said, test your knee out. And she jumped up. She was jumping, you know how she was jumping and clapping and praising God. I mean, she, her eyes, her face was lit up and everything just instantaneously. She was healed. And uh, she wasn't able to go to the feeding that we had. We were feeding the whole village with uh, rice and with beans and with chicken, which is a meal that they may only get once a year, maybe for Christmas. But this lady couldn't go because her knee was bothering her too much and right. God met her right where she was and countered her healed that knee right now and so uh if anyone's listening right now I'm telling you it has knee problems right yes. now you, you, let's just pray for that right now is that is that all right with you Richard? Yep. Let's oh absolutely right now. yeah so we just speak to any if that's you if, if that's you with knee pain right now we're going to pray for you and I want you to get up and do something that you could not do and check those knees out so we just command pain to leave all knees right now in yes. Jesus mighty name Jesus. all trauma leave those knees right now in Jesus name and we just command healing into those knees virtues into those knees right now Holy Spirit we just ask you to minister to them in their house right now in Jesus mighty name so if that's you if you've got that knee pain check those knees and type that in type type what is what's going if you're feeling fire in your knees if you're feeling the pain is gone in your knees let us know what's going on just type that in and i just i just want to add to uh, uh what aaron what, is saying right. and the word of knowledge he's having and it's kind of interesting because i actually saw uh the video of the situation with the lady with the hut and everything and it's kind of dynamic wow. what christ has done once he can do it again the testament of jesus I had a torso shot in my knee. So the question I have for you, is it your left knee on your upper left-hand side? Is it about a, uh, right above the kneecap, or, or, or is it your right knee? We'll just wait for a few seconds. Yeah, and if that's anybody else with the knees, type that in if that's you. Test those knees out, moving them around, do something that you couldn't do with them before. And I'm telling you, you're going to see that that pain is gone. Just check those knees out right now. I just thank you for what you're doing right now, Father. I just thank you for Terry, St Terry Stacy's knee. It's her right knee, and so we just thank you for that right knee. Yes, Lord. Yeah, just whatever, whatever you're getting, Richard. I just, I'm just looking at the comments right now. Okay. It's us. So, so can you had the quarters on shot, but can you still feel any discomfort? Could you today? Could you still feel any discomfort in that knee? Let us know if there was any pain even after the cortisone shot. See if it's more limber than it was before. I just thank you for what you're doing right now, yes. Father. I thank you for every person on this, that's, that's on here right now, that just healing virtue into those bodies right now in Jesus' yes, name. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yeah, we saw what she's waiting right there. We saw, like in the village, we had so many intimate things that happened. Andrew, okay, Andrew Shepard is a right knee. And so we just, just, we just speak to those right knees right now. We command... Her knee to be healed right now in Jesus' name. All trauma go, all yes. pain leave that knee right knee right now in Jesus' name. We just thank you, just fire of God burning out anything that's not of you in that right knee. Just, just, just spirit of infirmity. I command you to go right now, Andrea. Check that out and start moving your knee around right now. Just start moving that knee around. Try to get up and down. Test it out. See what's going on. So, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I just say, Holy Ghost, if the person's going to be rewatching this again, Lord, that left. Um, it's the left knee on the outside. Uh, Lord, I declare to decree, Father, right now that you would recreate, recreate the tendons, the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, in any inflammation, 
uh, behind Super, the kneecap, yeah, the swellingness, yeah. the spirit of infirmity. We just command it out yeah. right now in the name now, of Jesus. Jesus. Now in the name yeah. of Jesus. And Lord, I'm looking at uh, 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 tissues, soft tissues, ligaments right now. Lord, we just command the ones that have been torn, the ones that have been strained. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I command it right now. You send your healing angels. I ask you, Holy Spirit, yeah. to send you create a miracle angel. Yeah. Father, if they need a new ligaments, tissue, tendons, right now. <laughs> All right, there it is. Lord, yeah. we command new tendons right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we yeah. call forth right now, new Jesus, body parts man. from heaven to earth. We declare yeah. right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I yeah, bring the power. Right now. The fire, yeah. God, and the healing right virtues flow right now in their kneecaps right now. in Jesus' mighty name. Nay, we pray. Amen. So Andrea's knee popped, and she says, unusual. That's unusual. So I just thank you for that, Lord. I just thank you for that cartilage that does no longer be bone on bone. Just that creative miracle, just recreating that right now. We just thank you for that right now, for Andrea, right now, in Jesus' name. Hey, Marcus, what's up, man? Love you, brother. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank for you, Holy you. Spirit. Yeah, we saw incredible things. We saw uh, uh, multiple blind eyes uh, healed. We saw personally, uh, not just the team, but personally, Luke and I did. We went uh, shoulder to shoulder praying for people, just one right after the other. Amen. Just commanding pain to leave bodies, breaking witchcraft off. And and that's what I felt like we were going to do to, to today, too. If there's anybody watching that this right now, uh, just right now, if there's anyone that's messing with witchcraft right now, uh, if you're bold enough just to just to, to type that in, I'm telling you that, that there's real power, that there's real power. If there's anybody on here that's, that's into witchcraft right now or that's watching the replay, I'm telling you right now that that's a counterfeit power. We, that you, you need the Holy Spirit. He comes without that guilt, that shame, that condemnation, and that bondage. I'm telling you there's freedom, and I just thank you for that freedom. So we just speak to that. Anybody that's into that witchcraft, we just bind that in their life right now. We just yes. bind that in their life right now. I just thank you for the for your Holy Spirit just flowing into the life, flowing through their life right now, touching them and encountering them, Lord, yes. right where they're at. I had a I had a testimony. Uh, of, we were in uh, preaching in the villages on Sunday morning, and we were out in a in a village that we were outside. We were actually weren't inside a building, and uh, the chief of the area was there, and they came and. Uh, we gave a short, just simple gospel message that we didn't come in the, with wise words of men, but in a demonstration of power of the gospel and the love of God looks like something, you know, it looks like uh, Jesus, when compassion came upon him, he healed the sick, he cast out the demons, yes. he fed the, fed the masses. And so his love looks like something. We just gave that simple message. Luke told two testimonies and he started on one side <laughs> and was praying for the sick and seeing them healed. And we, I brought the chief up on the other side. And so uh, we took the chief of the village, never pray for the sick, had him start praying for the sick, and they were getting healed. So we go from one side and we're meeting. We get to this lady with a, a blind eye from birth, and uh, we're praying for her, and she starts seeing light coming out of her eye. How many people know that he's the author and the finisher? So what he yes. starts to finish, uh, we didn't see it completely pop open, but we saw a light come into her eye that had never came in since birth. And this village chief, I've got to see this, but I got this specific word of knowledge uh, Walking and moving it. I can't read the rest of Andrea's. Uh, uh, Woo Praise God. Out. Walking and moving. No pain. Come on. Praise yes. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for what you're doing. If if God will heal Andrea's knee, uh, uh, he'll heal your knee too. He's no respecter of persons. But we were in there, and, and uh, the Lord gave me a really specific word of knowledge. I saw that this lady had given her life to, the, to, to Jesus, but she was scared. She was in fear and in bondage. She was scared to give up all of right. her, her witchcraft that she had. And, and I, I saw a picture of her of, of by her bed, this jar that had these trinkets in it and uh, of the, from witchcraft. And, and so I gave the word, and nobody came up. And uh, the Lord says, give it again. I gave it again. And, and she started manifesting. She started doing this swirling dance that they do and, and boom, fell right in front of the chief. And, uh, <laughs> and so we're casting, you know, we're casting the, all this, these, these devils out of her. And you can, she's manifesting and, and uh, she's just getting freedom. It's beautiful. It's not, yes. a, it's not a look at what's happening. It's just beautiful. She's right. getting free, right? And the, and the chief is seeing the demonstration of power. And then he goes and he's healing the sick. And so I'm telling you, we're equipping the saints. We did the same thing in Kenya. We, in, in the Sunday morning place, we had him come up and pray for the sick because I'm not in Kenya anymore. We're not in, in Malawi anymore. And they're still there. So 
it doesn't matter if you're born again, you have the same power that rose Jesus from the Amen. dead living on the inside of you. Amen. You're equipped to heal the sick, yes. to cast yes. out demons, to yes. raise the dead and cleanse the lepers. Yes. And so that's what we're called to do. And we're yes. just going after it. But we, we don't, I don't want to have to do it all. I want it to be multiplied. I mean, that chief is going to go home <laughs> and he's going to start praying for his family to see the his village, his whole village to get free, his whole village to get saved, his whole village to get healed. Amen. Because I'm telling you, we serve a God who's mighty to save, he's mighty to heal, he's mighty to deliver. Yes. And uh, he's just looking for, for people that are willing to yield to him. And, Amen. And that's what it's all about. Just just yield yield it. That's Boom. it. I mean, he's he's looking for vessels to use and vessels that are able to put their lives on the stake and do what he asks us to do. And I, I just want to say that kneecap, there's somebody else's kneecap here. And typically, most people feel tingling, warmthness in the fire of God. But the Lord spoke to me. There's going to be an individual person on your kneecap that God's going to make it cool. And uh, I got a testimony when I was in India with Charlie Shamp over there. And it, I'm going to share that. And we'll flip back and forth here. But, yeah. Lord, I just declare right now in the name of Jesus that the, the second person, Father, who, whose kneecap is disrupt, uh, is torn, uh, is, is, uh, is strained. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I just say coolness come right now on that kneecap. Yeah. Get it right now in Jesus' mighty name. And so we were on the stage. Jesus. We were going to cross uh, Aaron, and they were coming across, bringing the people across the stage, praying for them. And uh, I just asked the lady, like, uh, just hey, just receive, receive. And she received it. Afterwards, she said, it's gone. It's gone. Come on. And uh, I went down and interviewed her afterwards. And she said, yeah. She said, I had this... Uh, like the cysts in my ovaries, and uh, it's gone. The pain wow. is gone. Come I was on. going to see a doctor Monday or Tuesday, and it's totally <laughs> gone. Jesus. And wow. uh, I, I know I'm a guy, so I'm going to say this on live. <laughs> I said, Lord, I said, what did you feel? Did you feel any warmth or something? She said, no, it was cold. <laughs> I said, dear Jesus, you know. I, yeah. I'm a little bit here, Lord. I, you know, I said, God, why would you do this? I mean, oh. know, I was a man, and I had some upper GI issue, Lord, I would want it to be warm, not cold. And the Lord just said, Richard, you know, it's the chemistry. Here is, here's the key. It's the chemistry of that person's DNA body that's made up. And so that's why some people, uh, like 10% will feel a coldness versus mm. hot, tingling, warmth, and fire. And so when it happens, it used to just, in my head, I'm like, that, that's not normal. I mean, God, what's going on? But it is normal. So just, yeah, come on, so that's in right. In the name of Jesus, and I met this, the, the, and there's a purpose for this, Aaron, because one of these days, I mean, have you ever prayed for somebody and they they told you it was not hot, it, or it was cold? I mean, have, have you ever? Yeah, had yeah, I have, I have before with the cold. I've seen that before. You yeah. Have, okay. Yeah. So if you're out there and you pray for somebody, and somebody tells you it's cold in their arm, their elbow, whatever else, don't get freaked out. I mean, I freak. I'm yeah. freaking out about twenty times and. The Lord just spoke to me, gave me the answer, saying, no, Richard, that's just their DNA of their body. You know, yeah. it's just that that's how I move. Unji just hopped on. She's a wild one. She was in Kenya and Malawi. She's got some amazing testimonies of what God's doing. I was uh, just really honored to serve with her. I just love the way that uh, uh, I love Christ in her, the hope of glory, man. I love the way Holy Spirit flows through her. Whew. Man, is that is that is it, is anybody else with the knee on here? I know we keep going back to these knees. God heal other body parts than knees, but we keep going back to that. If that's you with knee pain, uh, just just type that in. A, uh, God healed Andreas, and so uh, if she, if they'll do it for her, I'll do it for you. And so, whoa, yeah, come on, Holy Spirit. So if anybody has any knees, elbows, uh, arthritis, cancer, <laughs> you name it, uh, kidney problems. Uh, yeah, Chris, upper GI, lower GI. Yeah, just type it in. Just, you know, no, no bar. I mean, just we get, we just go for it. And, and the way I pray is, I like to, I, I like to know what I prayed for. And yeah, uh, this this past week I was in healing rooms, Aaron, and, and there was a lady there, and she was saying, "Well, I have something, but I can't tell you." And I'm like, I, "What do you mean you have something? Well, can you tell me what to pray for?" She said, "No, because I don't want to claim it." I said, Holy Spirit, I said, and I finally yeah. said, I said, Jesus said this, deny yourself. He never told anybody, deny your sickness. Yeah, you like to know what you're praying for sometimes. Yeah. Know, and so I tell people, Darcy said earlier on this post, posted his knee, I was thinking about what was bothering him. Absolutely. Thank you, Pamela. And so what the, so what I said, Holy Spirit, 
how do I get the person to tell me how what to, to pray for? And the Lord said, ask them what the condition is. And yeah. I looked at her and I said, what did the doctor tell you what the condition was? And man, she just bubbled up and told me. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Andrew is saying still no pain. Yeah, we'll say it's never coming back in the mighty name of Jesus. I Amen. just thank you for that, Lord. Amen. I just thank you for that book. We had a, you know, it's interesting. A lot of times we're going after these things. Like we went to the crusade and we knew we were going to see the Lord just confirm his word with signs, wonders, miracles. We're going to see a harvest come in. But I felt like to share this, that we were, uh, we were leaving and we were in Ethiopia on our way out. We were exhausted, haven't been sleeping. We were just flying. We didn't know where we were at. Never been to this part of the airport before. The team had left us. We were the last ones. And and I'm getting ready, Luke and I are getting ready to step on this escalator. And we turn around and this guy, it, it, they, they drug him over to this, chi the, to this bench and his daughter is hysterical. Probably, he's probably in his 70s. She's probably in his fit, her 50s. And she's screaming and just losing it. And I look and his eyes are rolled back into his head. I can't, he can't see his pupils. Mm. And we're like exhausted. And we, we don't, we want to make sure we make our next flight. And we, we just, we're just doing life. I mean, I'm just being real with you right here. And we're getting ready to step on here. And I said, I said, and Holy Spirit, it's like, he's like, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? You went to this crusade. You wanted to see these <laughs> mighty things. And so Luke and I were just, we, we just, we just slung our bags back down and we, we turned back around. We stepped back down off the escalator. We go over there like we own the place. Like people are freaking out. I want I grab his neck like this. I can barely fill a, fill a pulse, barely fill a pulse. Mm. His eyes are rolled back. He's barely breathing. Luke steps in like a boss, and he's just like, in the name of Jesus, and he's stepping in. Be healed in Jesus' name. And we're like, everybody's like looking at us like we're doctors and paramedics coming to the scene and rushing. It. And I'm like, hey, we break every assignment of the enemy off your life. You live and not die. And his eyes roll back into his head. He's like, he's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, my and goodness. I love it. Too. Should we should we lay him on the ground? They're like, should we lay him on the ground while he bleed better? I said, I don't know. And they said the paramedics are coming, so we hit the escalator, go on. The daughter is, you know, I mean, but that that's it. That's real life. It's just willing. We could have walked on, but he's looking for willing vessels, not just at the crusades, not just in the villages, yes. but when we're doing life, he's looking at those people that will stop and and he will that will turn aside and he will meet you with the demonstration and power. You will see people healed. Yes, uh, there, there's there's more people like. I believe Randy Clark put it this way, that, that they talked about, uh, and it may have been Bill Johnson, you, you'll probably be able to correct me here, uh, but they talked about in Argentina where they were seeing about 60% of the pe people healed with inside the four walls of the church, which is amazing to see 60 people healed. Praise God. Uh, we believe for all of them, but they were seeing 60%, but they were going outside the four walls, and the further they got from the church, they were seeing 90 and wow. even close to 100% when wow. they would go out. But the further we go out, I'm telling you, we need to be out where the people are. Yes. So often we think that people are going to come into the churches, yes. but everywhere we go, the kingdom goes with us. I'm telling you Absolutely. that we're carriers of his glory, carriers of the very presence of God. Everywhere yes. we go, we are ambassadors of the king. Yes. And I tell you, we transform atmospheres everywhere we go. And, and the further we get out from the walls, the more that I see. The same way, the further I got from the stage, they saw amazing things. And, and right. Charlie would see a miracle after miracle. But the right. further I got away, from the stage the more incredible things that i saw because i was getting out there where the people were yes and it's the same thing when we hit the streets here in america we're seeing amazing miracles happen we see it inside the four walls we may see uh one person two people six or seven people healed but i'm telling you when we get outside we're seeing a higher percentage where we're meeting those people uh tl osborne says it like this he says we need to get out where the people are amen you know, so, amen. so often we think that people need to come into the churches and to, to be evangelized but go out there be yes. the hands and feet of jesus when they get encountered one encounter with the holy spirit one encounter with jesus can change That's them. It, he can encounter them in a dream and a vision but most of the time he wants to use me and he wants to use you he wants to use richard if he'll use richard and me i'm telling you he'll use you guys we aren't anything <laughs> special we just we just got so far out of our mind that we got in the mind of christ i think we're just <laughs> going after it 
we're getting so so blasted in the Holy Ghost, and we're just believing that God's what He said is true, and we're just going to go after it. We're going to lay hands on the sick, and we're going to see Him healed. And I'm telling you what, we got so busy, we couldn't. We had to get a time constraints on Sunday morning when we were in the in the in the services in in uh, the Sunday morning church in in Akron. I said we can't lay hands on everybody. Just pain go. Everyone be healed in Jesus' name. Didn't lay hands on anybody. They got healed. They all I raised yes. their hand if you're healed. They all raised their hand. We ran out of time. You can't touch everybody. Just leak everywhere you go. And I'm telling you, when when Peter the shadow is healing people, when when uh, handkerchiefs are going out and there's and Paul is seeing extraordinary miracles yes. from handkerchiefs sent out, the demons are fleeing and people are being healed. This is real. God's just as real. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he just wants to use you and me, and we just have to yield to him. You know, I have a word of knowledge here. Of the yeah, come on. Holy Ghost Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Ninja Holy Ghost Warriors. Ninja come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to go back look at the old, you know, the Ninja Turtles, you know, right <laughs> on, you know. Yeah, come on. Names of, you know, healing and such. You know what I'm saying, brother? I mean, it's just, like, yeah. you know, we're just armed and dangerous for the kingdom. We all are armed and dangerous for the kingdom. That's right. Come on. That's it. So God wants to take people like us and you and me together make us extraordinary for the kingdom of God. Yeah, that's right. A humble heart and a servant to do God's kingdom business on earth. We'll see great things and everything. Uh, hey, Lisa, can you tell me in the bones exactly the condition and where it's hurting right now, whether it's in your heel area or whether it's in your toes area? Uh, and while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture. While we were, when I, I, we were driving down to Charlotte this past Saturday, um, there's a person – with a, a binion condition, and I didn't know it was the last minute. I don't know if you can, there you go. Yeah, I can see it good. You can see that. And then the yeah. next one, in about 30 minutes. Come on. All the red. That's amazing. Gone. You can see the change there, man. <laughs> exactly. I love it. And I'm yeah. like, man, Lord, this is good stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Come you on. Know, it, it, you know, we really think sometimes I've learned it in the course of four years, Aaron, of stepping out and seeing healings and miracles that, uh, that we limit to certain types of healings. And when you go on these crusades with Charlie Champ and just get in, I mean, it is like overflowing of information. Every single yeah. every, team, every team member has a creative miracles that they're seeing and being done. And Amazing. Everything. And so yeah. you come back, it's like, man, you're charged. You want to hit the streets. You want to go tell yeah. everybody about the love of God and the goodness right. and mercy of who he is and see the goodness right now. So, if Lisa, if you can tell me if it's your left foot, right foot, uh, I, I'm more of a uh, – I have – actually, I have a drop vision, open vision. A box pops down, and I see things like an x-ray machine. Uh, or I could just have – Lord, I want that. Lord, yes. I want that. Come on, Holy <laughs> Spirit. You can have it, Aaron. Amen. Amen. <laughs> While she's typing that in, I want to say that if you haven't went on a crusade or haven't went on a missions trip like this, find someone that is really seeing the harvest, going after the harvest, seeing those those notable signs, wonders, and miracles. And what happens is not just the, you, you'll come into an impartation that there'll be a, a things that you'll operate in that you haven't seen yet just through the ministry that you're serving, things that they see. And there's a swirling of the anointing with the team members also, the way that they operate. And there's, yes. a, there's a, the stirring of the anointing and you, you'll start operating at a corporate level together and start seeing things that will raise your faith and you'll come back and operating in things that you had never seen before. And so, uh, it, it's it's a it's an amazing that not just from from destiny encounters from Charlie and Bryn receiving that and Darcy and Brenda uh, the crusade coordinator that we, we're receiving that impartation but even the team members I honor yes. I honor the way some are maybe maybe see more deliverance or some that maybe see more miracles or signs and wonders or intercession or worship in these yes. areas and we start gleaning from them and uh, it's not just about one person it's about it's about a team working together. And where there's a unity, I'm telling you, where there's unity, God commands the blessing. And where yes. that unity is, there's this, there's a there's a realm of impartation that takes place. It's really unexplainable. I haven't been in a place where um, I've sort of seen. Uh, the, I haven't seen it at the level that I have in Kenya or Malawi, any other place in my life. And and also what you were saying earlier, you're going to get to see the blind eyes, the deaf ears, the the mutes on mass. 
Yes. Or maybe you'll pray for one or two in a year or one or three or four or five in a year. You can pray for 10, 10 blind eyes or 20 blind eyes. or You, you can lay hands on 50,000 people if you want to and to, to pray for different sicknesses. So we were seeing things that we don't normally see. Did she type that in for you? Uh, yes. She, oh, she said both okay. feet. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you want to go first and I'll just tag team you? Yeah, yeah. So, so we just speak to those feet right now. We just we speak to both of our feet right now. We just command uh, just all pain to leave. Just I just thank you for an alignment. Even even for her, I just think even from her back clear down to her feet. I just thank you for an alignment in her body from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet right now in Jesus' name. And I just we just say we command all pain to leave those yes. feet. I just thank you for proper alignment right now. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name, just 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 all trauma. Leave right now and is this is this does this go clear back from childhood like i'm seeing it it goes i feel like it goes back quite a ways and so i just thank you for just even back to the root of that lord i just thank you for just revealing that right now but we just command those feet to be healed right now pain go feet yes. be healed yes. in jesus mighty name so lord right now in the name of jesus i just see the deterioration Deterior. of yeah. the feet itself the right now in the name of jesus christ and father i just command a create a miracle right now um, uh, the very end where the heel is at, Lord Jesus, I command all pain go. April said generational yeah. pain go right now in the name of Jesus, where the heel of the ball, not the ball of the oh. back foot, but in the front of it. Father, I command right now that that will be softest right now. Father, right now, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to recreate <laughs> those tendons, those muscles right now. Yeah, uh, right Lord, now. Lord, there's, there's nerve endings, Father, right now in the name of Jesus that has been detached. It's causing uh, even uh, right ear uh, sensation where that she can't feel like numbness right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I just declare and decree, Father, supernatural. Feet be healed right now in the name yeah. of Jesus. Lord, we just break off the generational curses that has been done yeah. from the one generation to the next in that DNA line. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we apply the blood, the atonement yeah. of Jesus yeah. Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus we man. apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, you pro pro provided provision for healing right now on both of her feet right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we Jesus. Just, uh Feet come together, Lord, where it has the form, where it has flattened out, Lord Jesus. We command right now that you will push it back into place. Push your feet back into place right now yeah. in the name of Jesus. Reconstruct, Lord. I ask you, Holy Spirit, you reconstruct her feet, both of her feet, by the power and the fire of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Holy Spirit. And Holy we'll Spirit, that test that, test those feet out. Try to do something now. There's something that before maybe you can uh, try try maybe moving on the stairs or up and down or something that caused pain before. Just just start trying to do something that you couldn't do before. I just thank you for that right now. I thank you for the healing in Andrea's knee. I thank you for the healing that's taking place in, in Lisa's feet right now, in Jesus' name. And and if that's Is, is someone having a problem with, like, digestion with, like, a, I don't know if it's esophagus or something, just right through here? If that's you with digestion, would you type that in right now? If that's you, would you type that in? And I have somebody to follow up with that with the upper GI. Uh, okay, okay. That what you were, GI. is that what you were feeling? Yeah. Okay. But, no, no, it, it, but it could be both, Aaron. It could be the esophagus yeah, it may be, and it may the be upper combined. GI. So if that's you guys, type that, type that in. We're just telling amazing testimonies of Jesus. I'm telling you that the testimony of Jesus that you're hearing right here with the blind eyes, the deaf ears. Uh, while we're waiting, can I tell you a blind eye testimony that we saw? Absolutely. We saw a, uh, we saw uh, this guy that on the last day, Luke. Luke got so bold. He says, "Dad, I'm going back to the deliverance building. I don't need you." You know, he just. He grew up, so he's back there, and I'm praying with the interpreter, and I run into this eye guy. It was a word of the obvious. I knew that his eye was completely, like, discolored, and there was a chunk missing out of his left eye, and I'm like, I didn't even have to ask what he needed to pray for. He came up, and we started praying for his eye, and April typed in another one, too. What I can't I can't read it right now. T-E, you know what that said right there? Another another word of knowledge. T-E, so, I can't pronounce it. It's F-I, it's fish U-L-A. If that's you, type that, type that in too. And so, uh, 
uh, and so we're praying for this guy, and he's got a chunk missing out of his uh, out of his left eye. He's got a chunk missing out of it. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm praying for him. Can't see anything. 40 years old. 40 years from birth, never seen out of this wow. eye. I'm breaking witchcraft off of him. Like the Lord said, witchcraft, just break it off. And we're breaking, and, and, and uh, so we're breaking those things off, command in sight, and uh, praying for him. And he says, he says, I'm starting to see some light. And so we pray again, and he says, I, I'm starting to see more, and I'm starting to see more. And uh, it got to the place where he could tell me one, two, three, or four fingers right directly in front of him. It was tunnel vision. It didn't pop completely open, but he could right. see for the first time in 40 years. A piece of his eye was missing, and he could see out of it. There was a chunk that was missing out of his eye, <laughs> and God is, is restoring the sight. He says, it feels like there used to be rocks in my eyes, and that, in my eye, and those rocks feel like they're gone now. And so he began he began to see that just directly. He couldn't see over here to the side. He couldn't see to this side, but straight in front of him, he could tell me one, two, three, or four feet with his eye, other eye completely covered. And so I'm, I'm believing that he's completely healed now. I'm believing that what God started, that he finished. And uh, it's, it's amazing that sometimes we, we, we look at things and we can see the disfigurement. We can see those things. Uh, I don't know if she can't hear. She's ha having problems with her ears. Lisa, if you can't hear, just hop off and try to hop back on. If that's you, if you're having problems hearing uh, uh, the audio on I think here, it's the audio. Hop yeah, hop off and then hop back on. But sometimes we get so overwhelmed by what we see because truly we we don't walk by sight. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's all faith. And, and right after this, like my face going pretty high, uh, a lady comes up with lice. I don't know why I'm telling this. Uh, my special needs daughter, Wendy, lives at home with uh, problems with burning from her throat on down almost daily. So that's it. I think that's the that's what we were getting the word of knowledge for is for Andrea's daughter, yes. Wendy. And I actually know them. And so uh, we'll pray for we'll pray for uh, we'll pray for just in one second. I'm gonna finish telling I don't know why I'm telling this life story, but I feel like I'm supposed to. This lady comes up, had to shave all her head and had to shave all the hair off her body, but the lice was so bad. If you start itchy, we'll pray for you. Just stay out. Don't leave. Don't leave because we're talking about lice here. She shaved, but they were jumping off of her. You could see them jumping off of her. And uh, so uh, I just faith was up and I just laid my hand on her head and I I, I cursed those lice and commanded them to die. I asked the interpreter, I said, check, have her check it. And she says, they're gone. They died. I could visibly see them not jumping anymore. They died and they left. So we just like the fig tree dried up and died. And when, when Jesus wow. cursed it, I'm telling you, there's life. That's the first time I'd ever seen that happen. And so, you know, God's into to crazy miracles. He's into to, to meeting the needs. Like this lady shaked all her head and she was ashamed to even take the covering off that she had because she was bald. And it was and but he met her where she was at and, and she was life free just in, in a within a like five second prayer. It was amazing, wow. just commanding those lights to go. So whatever you're getting for Andrea. Whatever I'm, I'm getting. Throat, did you see that? Are you getting anything for her? Do you want to pray for her right now, for Wendy, your daughter? I'm going to tag team. You do the, you do the, uh, the throat esophagus area, okay. and then it hits the lower end of the GI. So it's, it's okay. uh, the, the ear. I'm going to just I'm, – so I'm going to describe to you if you don't mind, just for a second. So what happens is, yeah, the come on. on the inside of the esophagus, which is, you know, going down the throat. Uh, <laughs> your yeah, throat that goes down, and then it hits the the upper GI, the stomach area, everything, and it just it it, it becomes inflamed, irritation, rash, uh, just very discomfort. It's not comfortable at all. So. so. Come on, and I love, I love the way that I love where where Richard takes the time and, and he explains what he's seeing because he's seeing these pictures, he's understanding, and you probably feel some in your body, but primarily you're seeing these right now in yes. this season, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, primarily he's seeing these things right now, these words of knowledge. He's seeing what's going on in the body. It's amazing. Uh, sometimes I see them. Sometimes I was actually feeling when I was feeling that earlier. I was feeling it. And after I released that word and she said it was her, I didn't feel it anymore. So that, uh, so that's what we're going to pray for right now. You guys agree with us right now for Wendy right now. I just thank yes. you for your love just washing over Wendy, yes. just invading Andrea and Wendy's house right now. And just, I just thank you, Holy Spirit, right now for ministering to them. We just curse that pain and that burning right now in her esophagus and, and that digestive tract right now in Jesus' mighty name. And we just command healing right now. We break off every plan of the enemy off of her life right now in Jesus' name. And I just thank you, God. This, it just She says that she's special needs. Every single need yes. be met. I just thank yes. you that every single need be met yes. in yes. Jesus' mighty name.
So, Lord, we just ask you right now, just coat the inside of the esophagus and the GI liner right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you, ask you for the spirit, Lord, you send your angels, Father, right now, that you would send yeah. a coolness of fire, a coolness right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, anything that's been irritated, nerve ending damages, uh, uh, even yeah. particles that's in there that does something with the throat and other things in the GI Father, we just right now in the name of Jesus, we command uh, even in the, in the GI area, Lord, I'm just seeing it shrinking, Lord. Lord, we command right now for everything to open up to function properly right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I command any heartache, uh, chest pressure right now in the Jesus. name of Jesus that anybody's Jesus. feeling right now. Lord, we just command right now that you would release the, the pressure of stress pressure of other people upon their bodies uh, responsibility father holy spirit uh even people who may be watching father right now that they feel as if a yeah, constriction constriction so lord we command it right now off of their bodies father we command yeah. any spirit of python off of their yeah. body to restrain them right father, in the name of jesus lord yeah. we give you all the praise all the glory and father i just declare and decree father break off un yeah uh, unnecessary Everybody. financial burdens on parents father that the kids want to put their parents through right now in the name of jesus father i just break that unnecessary stress upon them father right now in the name of jesus i command any constriction i break it off by the power and the glory of jesus mighty name we pray this in your name amen amen, amen. yeah and if you guys aren't seeing like if you don't see these things like richard is that's okay like my son like i needed to get out of his way when we were praying like he be pain go be healed in Jesus name, and we go on to the next one. But I, I literally love praying for him. I like to just wash it, just just wave after wave of your love and your peace and your joy. And I love to see him encountered and just shrink and just yes. into a puddle of of warm just love. Just and so I like that. So I spend a little bit more time praying. But I tell you, Luke, right there, he's like pain go be healed in Jesus name. And and I, we went bam bam bam. And I, we lost track. We're being conservative with a hundred and one hundred and fifty people in the time that we were there. This. Not, I mean, that's the low end because we were just one right after another pain go, uh, stomachs uh, being healed, tumors uh, falling off, uh, paralytics walking, uh, just, just crazy. The blind eyes, deaf ears, the things that you hear. We really had acts to a moment. And I'll just share this. Like, like through this, like the crowd doubled after they started seeing the miracles to, to, from the first night to the second night. And yes. It almost doubled again right. the third night. And then by the fourth night, we had probably 60,000 people there wow. that we were ministering to in that area. That's awesome. and, and I'm not putting words in for Destiny Encounters or for Blazing Faith Ministry, but I believe there were over 65,000 people that gave their lives to Jesus. Man. And that's through the demonstration and power of the gospel, through the love of God being poured out, yes. uh, through people being healed, people being delivered, witchcraft being broke off. We haven't talked a lot about the deliverance, but so many people were getting delivered. My son went into the deliverance room. Uh, they had a, a classroom that they took him back into uh, just to spend more time and to be able to minister to him. And uh, he went back there and he was praying and he saw uh, just a spirit of deafness flee. This guy had a, a mangled knee and a, a deaf ears, and he was able to hear, and he, he was able. his knee was healed. And they were just seeing amazing things through the deliverance. I mean, if you haven't saw just the glory of God, you know, this is called glory story. You know, the glory of God came in, and, and where the spirit of the Lord is, 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 there is freedom, there is liberty. And people just began to manifest. People just began to get freedom uh, people were slithering around, people were coughing out demons, puking up stuff. It was just things that you don't see on mass, maybe in America. We were seeing it just right there on display, just the power of God and these people getting set free in an absolutely amazing way. It's not about, hey, look at this, look at that. It's about freedom that was taking place. And um, uh, I, I, I had people that were manifesting in, in inappropriate ways that, that ended up giving their lives to Jesus, fell down in front of me, and we cast that spirit of perversion out of them. Yes. You know, I mean, just, it's a beautiful thing that they got the freedom that they needed. Yes. And so um, there, there's so much we, 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 Richard and I, we love the miracles. We love the miracles. It, it's all, it's all miraculous, but we love it. We love the word for knowledge. We, we can watch yes. people get healed all day long. We'll just, we'll just stand in the healing line, bam, 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 right. and watch it. But there's so much that we just can't cover in just a short amount of time here. But I'm telling you that if you've got, if you've got fear that needs to be broke off of your life, if you've got anxiety, if you've got uh, just, just any bondages that are holding you down, uh, you know, we want to pray for you for that too. A lot of times, 
sometimes the things that we, you know, we see the word of the obvious. Someone's got a cast on. Someone's got an ankle that needs healed. Uh, someone's got a, a neck brace on or an eye missing. Uh, you know, we can see those things. We pray for those things and we see them. But a lot of times those things that, that I just feel in that right now, Richard, I don't know if you want to go there or not, whatever you're feeling. But, uh, you know, I really feel like it, with, with fear, with fear, if someone's dealing with fear and, and like uh, it, uh, night terrors, if that's you that's having uh, uh, continually dreams coming at you and fear from those dreams coming, if that's you, would you type that in and we'll pray for you. I see people delivered from this. And in Job uh, 33, 15, and 16, it says that the Lord will seal up our assignment in a dream and in a vision while we sleep and we slumber on our bed. He'll open up our ear and he'll seal up our assignment. And so uh, if that's you, we want to pray for you, but I'm just going to speak that over you right now. If you have bad dreams right now, if there's fear and anxiety coming from those right now, um, I just come against the, 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 the enemy's assignment against your nighttime. We just break that assignment in the mighty name of Jesus, and we just plead the blood of Jesus over your sleep right now. And we just speak that into you, that Job 33, 15, and 16. I just thank you that you would give them dreams and visions of you, that you would seal up their assignments in the nighttime in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command that spirit of fear to go. I just thank you for just their perfect love washing over them. I thank you that perfect love is casting out all fear right now, just encountering them. I can feel the tangible presence of the Lord. I can feel the electricity of God right now. And so I just, if that's you, would you type that in? We want to, we, we, if that's you with the dreams, if you have nightmares, uh, will you type that in for us right now? If, and anyway, wherever you want to go from that, that's what I was feeling, though, just the, just the fear and the anxiety and especially coming from the dreams. I'm going to take a, a step of faith here. Uh, come on. Have come on. Let's do it. You know, you know, Aaron's talk about words of knowledge. You know, when I was doing healing rooms uh, a couple of weeks ago, he gave me Aretha. I'm like, dear Jesus, can I have a different word? <laughs> come on. I love it. I love Lord. it. You know, and, and somebody did get hit with that. I mean, I went to Mexico uh, three years ago. And I said, God, I can't word knowledge. He said, take worm. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Again, he spoke take worm. I said, I don't know what that is. And then I saw the yeah. drop down picture from my eyeballs. And I'm like, wow, I don't want that one. Give me another word. I want Sean Bolts. Give me a good easy one, man. And yeah, time, yeah. I actually saw a, a video moving. I said, that's disgusting. You know what Holy Spirit told me, Aaron? He said, I'm showing you this, and you've been asking for words of knowledge. It's because that person is going to get healed. And in my mind, I have never, ever heard what tape yeah. was. But she yeah. was one of the servers, and I was hesitant down there. I did a you know, a, a nice little short little sermon and everything, and the, and the lady, actually, Rihanna, my daughter, asked me three times because I still <laughs> didn't want to give that word, Aaron. And yeah, she yeah. Did, the lady came up. She went down the power of God. Three days later, she came back. She was healed. So this is what I'm gonna say with the spirit of fear that I'm seeing is manifested in a in a room, and mm. it's almost like a poltergeist. And you know, my wife is more discerning of spirits and such. But since I've come back from Paul Cox uh, conference over there, the Lord has really shifted something of impartation from him. Uh, that with the the words of knowledge is really going in, it, it's shifting over to the deliverance. Uh, and, yeah, come on. And, uh, you know, my wife's like, yippee. I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. But I, don't <laughs> I, love, know. It. I love it. So, I love it. I love it. We just break off any demonic spirits that's in that house, in yeah. that room right now. Lord, we just yeah. break the declared decree, Father, any poltergeist right now in the name of Jesus. We just say no more, no more, no more by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just release the presence of the goodness right now in that atmosphere of that home, Lord Jesus. We release it right now from this day forward that this tormenting spirit will stop and cease in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yeah, I'm feeling the tangible presence of the Lord right now. I just thank you for that right now. If this is blessing you guys, uh, would you share this with you? Would you share this? If you if you know people that need healed that that are dealing with dreams, that are dealing with those things, I'm telling you that the the there's no time and there's no distance in the spirit. If people are watching the replay, the same anointing is on the replay, yes. and they can see this and they can be healed. So this is blessing you. If you know people that are dealing with knee issues, with feet issues. Uh, with dreams, with fear, with anxiety. Would you guys share this? Uh, would you uh, just tag them in this so where they could watch this? And I'm telling you that there's people that are going to get freedom from these things. There's been words of knowledge that have even been called out that haven't been said, hey, that was me yet. And I'm believing yes. that those people are going to watch the replay and that they're going to yes. be just completely healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whew. 
Man, I'm telling you, there's just so many, there's so many things, and and I don't know how long you're wanting to go tonight, but we could tell testimony for days on this. I don't even know what time it is, but uh, uh, th- th- what I want to tell you guys, anything that we're, t- any of these testimonies that we're telling you, anything that Richard's saying, that I'm saying, if God will do it in us, it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. Yes. I'm telling you, it's we're just yielded to the Holy Spirit. If you want to see more people healed, this is what the Lord told me. He says, if you want to see people healed, you're going to have to lay hands on the sick. And it's, Come on it's, now. It's pretty simple. If you want to see people delivered, you need to get around people that need deliverance. And so yes. that's the thing. We've got to get around people that need that that need the healing, that need the deliverance. And it may be a little bit messy. You may get a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> as you step out and give words of knowledge, words of wisdom. <laughs> the first word of knowledge I ever got for a metal miracle. Uh, I was. I just told the Lord, I'll give. I'll give anything you give me. I was just starting to operate uh, uh, more fully in in words of knowledge. I said, I'll give anything. That's part of stewarding it. When the Lord gives it to you, part of stewarding it is giving that word. Yes, Whether amen. It's in, you know, the, the line at Walmart and or wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. Is giving that word. And so the Lord said, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to. I want to heal metal. I want to. I want to heal people's bodies that have metal in it. And I'm like. Oh, Lord, I've never seen it. And, and he so gently said, you will never see a miracle that you don't pray for. Amen. Personally in ministry. And so I said, I'll give it. And so we gave that. We I released that word word of knowledge. A lady came up. We had three people with metal in their body. I'm like, Lord, Lord, what am I going to do with this? I haven't saw one metal miracle yet. And now <laughs> I'm believing for three. But I, I prayed for the lady. She had a click every single time that she moved her knee. Her knee clicked every single time. And so I went over there, and I prayed for her. And I said, try it out. I, I, I commanded that medal to, to – I, I just said, Lord, I just thank you right now. Uh, just the power of God, just, just knee be healed right now. Amen. And, uh, I, and I just commanded uh, – and I don't know if the medal left, but I commanded the level the medal to leave and for bone to be formed. And uh, But the clicking stopped immediately. I said, try it. And, she, and her face got big. And she says, I did not have the faith for that. I've been prayed for a thousand times, and I did not believe that it was going to happen. Now, hear this for just a for a second. A thousand times. And so sometimes I have somebody – Occasionally, yeah. and and you have to understand something. Each time Aaron and I ever pray for somebody, without a shadow of a doubt, God's going to do it. We, you know, we if you if you read Smith Wigglesworth, A. A. and Jack, yeah. or any of those books, you have to get rid of uh, unbelief and say God's going to do it every time. And occasionally, this is what I say: it doesn't happen. Occasionally, yeah. it doesn't yeah. happen. And really, is we need to rely upon Holy Spirit to do it because He's the one yeah. doing it anyhow. And so it's not us. And it's not the other person. It's yeah. the Holy Ghost who does it. You know, yeah, does that thing. So go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. Sorry. No, that that's right. And, and so so the fact that it, 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 we always like, oh, we love it when people are in faith when we're praying for them. We yes. love it. We absolutely love it. And 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 but I'm telling you, there's times we're not. I, God was healing Muslims, and He was healing Christians. And he was healing non-Christians. Yes. You know, it didn't matter who it was. It didn't matter yes. if they're believers, non-believers, uh, Hindus, Muslims. That we we came across four Muslims and and we're like uh, they were sitting on this bench and they were uh, they were looking at us and they're like uh, uh, I said can we can we bless them? They're like no. And so uh, I knew that they had pain. I knew that one of them had headaches, and I knew some other stuff was going on in their body. So I just said, in the name of Jesus, I just was bold. I said, in the name of Jesus, pain leave right now in Jesus' name. And the kids said, and I said, headaches leave right now. And the kids said, my headache is gone. Pray for my dad. And so the dad gets healed. He had a pain in his legs that left. He had swelling that we prayed for to leave. And and uh, one of them couldn't believe it. He got up and left. The other three stayed there and were encountered. And were like, uh, they said, yes, we'll come to the crusade. I asked them if they wanted to give Jesus their life right there. They didn't know what to do. They're like, we don't, we don't believe this way. We don't, you know. And <laughs> God's goodness was being poured out. His love yes. was being poured out upon yes. them. They weren't in belief. They yes. they didn't think they didn't think God that Jesus. That, that they were going to be healed in Jesus' name. But he encountered them right where they were. His goodness was poured out. And Absolutely. he wants to do that. He wants to do it for Christians, for non-Christians, for, yes. for Muslims, for Hindus, for atheists. He doesn't care who it is. He wants you to be bold enough to step out and yes. to just lay hands on the sick and just believe that they're going to be healed. I'm telling yes. you, with compassion, we have to have a compassion for those people yes. in front of us. We have to cultivate a love for those people that are in front of us. If you want yes. to see a miracle, Mahesh Shabda has a book I've got sitting here on my bookshelf. It says, Only Love Can Make a Miracle. And I'm telling you, before I cultivated a love for people, I didn't see very many people healed. I had a guy tell me um, when we left 
Well, I, he says, the one thing I saw, that we ministered with, he says, the one thing I saw about you that I'll say, that I saw, I loved all the testimonies, everything you said, but I could tell that you loved the person that was in front of you. Yes. And I'm telling you, when you That's do true. that, when you cultivate a love for your neighbors, you cultivate a, uh, when you're in line uh, at a shop, wherever you shop at, you have just cultivated a place for the power of God, for a landing place for the power of God to come and yes. encounter those people when you have a love for those people. When you cultivate that love, yes. it, it opens up a place for the compassion of Jesus to come forth Amen. and to see the demonstration and power Amen. encounter not just the person you're praying for, but the people around. And Beth and I were praying for these people outside of a mall, and yes. this lady's getting countered. Her knees are getting healed. Her hips are getting right. healed. We Amen. find like 20 people come are gathered on. around us that are getting the gospel minute, the demonstration of the power of the gospel yes. ministry. They don't even know that this can happen. Correct. And my wife, she's like a celebrity now. She has this podcast and this lady comes up to her and she says, I don't know if you know me or not, but I follow your podcast in a different town. We were, we were hours away, and, and someone from her podcast, she just comes up, and she's like, hey, we follow your podcast, and this is amazing. You're actually doing the things that you're saying that you're doing. I'm telling you, God wants the people that not just talk about these things, but will go out and do them. Amen. And he wants to use Richard. He wants to use me. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're at. What's Lisa saying right there? She said, my live stream sound went out a minute. You said my name. I didn't get to hear you pray for me. I didn't. Uh, I didn't need to hear. I know I'm healed. The manifestation of the common, yeah, the command to be seen in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, Amen, Amen. So. And so, so I don't care where you're at. I mean, you just have to. We have to cultivate that love. And Rich is the same way. When compassion flows forth, like like I used to go to Walmart and I used to try to pray for everything that moves. And I tell you what, I got tired. And my kids, you know, my kids, I neglect. I'll just be honest with you. I wasn't spending the time with my kids I needed because I was trying to pray for everything. But when compassion comes on, when God highlights, yeah. like, like we know the story about Moses and the burning. But I tell you, when, when, when you see, when you see the Lord moving, when compassion comes upon, you can see yes. something highlighted. You can yes. see that burning bush in front of you. It's when Moses turned aside that he encountered the Lord. It was great that he saw that highlighted the burning bush that wasn't being consumed, but right. it was not until he turned aside that yes. he saw that he encountered, that he had the encounter. Yes. And so that's what I do with the Lord. I say, Lord, I, I, just give me a compassion for those people that I have time, those compassions that you want to touch. And sometimes it's not the greatest need in the room. Sometimes you may see somebody with a, with a, with a cast on, and the Lord wants to take care of uh, fear from a childhood trauma that they had, and, and they want to pray for somebody else. And so when the Lord highlights someone, turn aside, take that time, let that compassion, the compassion of Jesus lead you. You got time. Pray for everybody, I'm telling you. But there's times right. when you, you know, lay hands on everybody that you can lay hands on. But there's times when maybe you only have time to minister to one or maybe to two people. Be led by the, the, the compassion of the Lord. Let the Lord highlight those people. Um, make room to get a word of knowledge, to get a word of wisdom, to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I, I'm rambling on, Richard. You, you and and, and here's, here's, even when I talk, teach on words of knowledge, you can see it, you can read it, you can feel it. You can sense it. You can read somebody's yeah, head. On. You can have an open vision. You can have a picture in picture. You can have all those things. And, and yes, I mean, I, I I love teaching on that. I, I I mean, I would fly all over the world teaching this. Yeah, come on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just something that I live in. And, and you know, if there's a difference when you have a teacher who just teaches theology or the theory. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. I will say this. <laughs> Whatever is the teacher in the back, there's somebody who's actually teaching. And they were talking about Jesus going about doing good and, and, and healing the sick and things of this nature. I'm thinking, well, that's 2,000 years ago. Let me share with you about Jesus who just did this six months ago in Kenya. Yeah, you know? yeah, amen. I mean, amen. Yeah. I mean, mine's reveling. I mean, this is today. This is two weeks ago. You know, and so, you know, it like lights me up on the inside here. Uh, Andrea wanted to know if we would be able to pray for boldness with her. And, I, and I'm going to share something with you. And, and most people, a lot of people don't know this by, by background, but about four years ago, and, and, and I was a Christian for all my life, you know, that I can remember, you know. But, I mean, I had to deal with insecurity, doubt, why would God ever use me? I'm second class. I'm little old Richard. You know, I hate getting up in front of people. I hate to go one-on-one -on -one and, and sharing something with them. But you can look at me right now, and, Lord, I, I mean, I'm just like, that's who I had a wrong identity, sonship and daughtership in Christ Jesus. As Jesus had to take his time in my life, and, and uh, there was devastation of a marriage that broke up and that sort of thing. 
uh, 12 years into it and seeking him and rebuilding me and, and making me with identity. So I have, uh, 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 I have the, the authority to speak and to break off timidness, is to break off shyness. Yeah, come on. Aaron, you know, uh, yeah. you know, I just want, when I come across people who have that condition because I can feel it and sense it, I just want to say, Holy Ghost, we're just going to break this off because they're not going to uh, yeah. uh, deal with this for the rest of their life. They're going to know their sons and daughters. Right? Yeah. And they're, they're, and they're, and, and what's inherited. I mean, come on, that's right. Daughter, that's right. Come on. His, his, come his on. character. I mean, that's the full fruition that's within us, you know, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Yeah. And so that stuff had to really, I had to believe it. And, you know, I used to say the words, Aaron, but I didn't believe it. Yeah. And so they became a, 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 an infusion of me. Now yeah. it's like dynamite, man, let's go. And Come I want to sh share something else with Aaron. Well, we're kind of t uh, tagging back and forth a little bit on here. We'll close here. It's about an hour, 10, 10 51 my time, 9 51 his time is, the Lord spoke to me one day, said, Richard, you know what? You see the double doors behind you, which is at the back of the door or the church where you came in at? He said, that's your hey, heart. Hey, David, bless you, bro. And I said, uh, I said, what do you mean my harvest? He said, that's your harvest. He said, you need to do this out on the streets. You need to Yeah, come there. on. That's right. And and that and you, I will promise you this. You will see 50 percent more healings and miracles. Yeah, than come you on. In the church. If you're starting off. I will say to you, the cruises are the exceptions. If you go with Charlie Shamp, the cruises are the exceptions. <laughs> so that's the highlight. You will see them. You'll see them. Yeah. Them. You will yeah. See them. But I'm just telling you, if you want to see it, go out. Go outside the four walls of the church yeah. because there is, a, you know, a religious spirit. There's a political spirit. I mean, there's whatever in the church you're 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 you're, you're working. Through. Yeah. So I want to get offside with that. But I just can, encourage. Can I read you this scripture pray. real quick? Can I read the scripture before you pray for him? Is that okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Is it okay? Yeah, I, and I love this. I had it open, my Bible open, and I didn't know we were going to share this, but it says, And Lord, now take note of their threats and grant that your bond servants may speak the, your word with all confidence, with all boldness, while you extend your hands to heal, and signs and wonders take place through the name of your holy yes, servant Jesus. Jesus. And when they prayed, the place was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with all boldness. And so that's it right there. When things are coming against you too, and that's what Richard is saying, it doesn't matter. We have to get so bold that it doesn't matter what comes comes against us, that we're just yes. going to be bold. We're going to stretch forth our hands, and God is going to confirm his word with signs, wonders, and miracles. If you show up with the boldness, God will show up, and he will confirm his word. He's just looking for those people to step out. Go, Richard, whatever you were doing. I just had to share that. <laughs> I love it. So Lord, I just I just command a spirit, uh, uh, a Timothy, not Timothy, tim timidness. So Lord, we just command a spirit of timidness, of shyness, uh, yeah, of, of not knowing whether or not the other person is going to accept them to pray for them, Lord Jesus. Yeah. The Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I just release the power of boldness, the power, Lord Jesus, Lord. They are signs and wonders that they will yeah. to do what you have called yeah. them to do, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father. Lord, that there will be a a, a a stirring of the heart, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that when they will they feel, it, they will feel that electricity, they will feel that power yeah, fire that will come flow on. from within their bellies. So they will fall yeah, that's fall right. Come on. The Holy Spirit. Lord, just give them a sign in the wonder. Lord, in my life, Lord, I needed a sign. Lord, you always gave a sign to me, made my heart race for seven years. And I didn't want to do it, Lord. But Lord, I just ask you, Jesus, that you would just give them the sign, Lord. Lord, that the boldness will come. Come on, Lord, Holy Spirit. It's kind of yeah. interesting. Aaron has a picture behind him, a lion. So, Lord, yeah, I pray come the Holy on. Spirit, that you release the lioness. Yeah. The lioness in the women and the lion come on. in the men right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, in Jesus' that, Lord, name. that when they roar, yeah. it is the roar yeah. of the Father. It is the roar of the Holy Spirit. It is the roar yeah. or Abba come Father, on. Lord Jesus, that, Lord, they will become Jesus. They will be your mouthpiece. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Fill them right now yeah. with the presence hey. and with your glory. In Jesus' name, man, Richard, my my, my good friend David that went, uh, he he hopped on. Him and his wife were amazing. Uh, D is on here from the trip too. Uh, I've got some inappropriate uh, testimonies that uh, David and I one day could maybe share. Things that you can't unsee. Some amazing things we won't share, but I just wanted to share. David was on there. I see you, David, and one day we'll be able to release these amazing miracles that we saw. 
<laughs> some things you just don't ask him to test, Richard. You just can't unsee some of the things that you see. I might have to call him up on the phone and ask <laughs> yeah, him offline. This, this isn't for Facebook Live right now, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> I can tell you some incredible things right now and see, but I won't go there. (laughs) Yeah, I regretted asking two people to check to check and see their in their bodies if the pain had left and whatnot. We'll leave it there. Leave it there. We're just no, we just got to leave it there. I'm not going. (laughs) But I'm telling you, God cares about those things. God cares about those things. It can eradicate cancer, lungs, tumors. Sin. Yeah, I'm yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, real. Taryn's on here too. Taryn's on here too. She's amazing. David and Taryn, they were amazing. We just love ministering with them and serving with them. Uh, we had a wild team. Kenya was a wild team. This was a wild team. We just, I want to encourage those people. If you haven't went on, if you want to, if you want to step into another level with uh, seeing signs, wonders, miracles, uh, stepping out in boldness, seeing a harvest, what you see in a year what you see in a year or two years here in the States, you will see in three or four days Amen. and it will be compact and you will have other people in the testimonies that you will see, the things that you will see in a short amount of time. I just really encourage that. And, and uh, it doesn't matter how many glory meetings we're in. We love the glory. We want everything that the Lord has, but it has to transition. When you go after the harvest, you will see these things. When you get out where the people are, you will see these things, the, the, the yes. greater signs, the greater wonders, the greater miracles when you go out, because they're really the dinner bell for salvation. They're to draw those people in, uh, to, to draw people to Jesus, for them to give their lives to Jesus. And when we do that, uh, when we position ourselves in a place of harvest, the Lord will just, he blesses it every single time. He loves us, but he loves those people that are going after the harvest. And for so long, we were equipping, we were equipping, we were equipping. And it was amazing. We saw great things happen and we haven't stopped doing that. That's a huge part of what we do. Uh, yes. People will come in and they'll get equipped to go out and to, to do the works of the kingdom, to go out in the demonstration of power of the Holy Spirit. But when we started going after the harvest, we started seeing more signs, more wonders, more yes. miracles, greater tangible glory, yes. greater tangible, just his presence, just, just everywhere we go. Uh, rooms being transformed. Just even today, there was a kid that was coming in that was just really being loud and 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 I'll just say a little obnoxious <laughs> and uh, tr- trying to. The enemy was using them to try to transform the atmosphere the, to where the Lord was trying to minister. And the Lord just had me speak prophetically, speak into his life, and 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 a calmness and a peace came upon. And I just kept pouring into his life. It's the same way it, it, that we were there in. Uh, in uh in blantyre the the we had this kid that just mocked us him and his teenage buddies were just mocking us and mocking us and mocking us we were praying to see people here they were mocking us and the lord highlighted them and we walked by and they mocked us and we went by and we ministered and we came back by and said let's go by their house we had time to stop and we had to talk to them five minutes before they would allow us to even pray for them to talk to them to bless them and uh the, the, they were mocking and, and i tell you five years ago if they mocked us i would have been like Forget about it. Well, there's more people. There's more fish in the sea. But the Lord said, no, you go back and you talk to them. Right. And so uh, the mom gets healed. Her stomach gets healed. These two kids get just encountered. Mm. And the one, the ringleader of it all was mocking through the, all of this. Uh, the Lord had me start prophetically speaking into his destiny as a leader yes. that the Lord was calling him as a leader. And he needed to be careful about the things that he did. Because when he got into a crowd and when he decided to do anything, he could get the whole room, everyone to go with him. And I said, isn't that right? And I sort of speaking to his family and saying this, this, and this. And his family said, yes, that's right. That's exactly what happens. Wow. And the Lord had me speaking to his destiny about not just the city, but the nation that he was going to be able to, the Lord was going to use him in the nation. It was important what he did with his life. And he said there, and this guy that was mocking us for, for, for probably 20 minutes was bawling and weeping under the power mm. and the presence of God. So when that boldness comes upon you, it doesn't matter. The Lord wants yep. to get the mockers. He wants to get the atheists. He wants to get the yes. Muslims. He wants to get yes. the people that people are actually scared. So the Lord sends me to people that are big and that are scary and that have the, you know, that, that look like they're, they're just angry and mean. And I'm telling you, the Lord wants to encounter those people. He wants yes. to use me and he wants to use you to do that. And uh, it doesn't mean that that's the only people you're called to, but I'm telling you that yes. when you step out in boldness, he will meet you with power yes, each will. and every time. And when you sit there and when you step out in that, he'll give you the words of knowledge. He will give you the prophetic word. I didn't see him heal, but the prophetic word spoken to his life touched his heart. He was weeping and he was crying, not just for like yes. 30 seconds, but when I just kept speaking into his life, praying over.
over him. And right. to the point where he actually thanked me for stopping and speaking into his life when we were <laughs> done. And I love that. And just Amen. touched him. The Lord encountered him right there. And, uh, yeah, I just, and so if he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you. And I'm telling you that each and every one of you can step out in this boldness. Be strong and courageous everywhere you go. I'm telling you, every place the step that you, every place the foot of your step treads is claimed for the kingdom of God. We're taking Amen. back dominion everywhere we go. Richard's telling testimony after testimony of God just downloading words of knowledge to him. It didn't used to happen like that. That's it? correct. And he's growing in this. And he's maturing yes. in this. And the more we step out in this, it's just like when we exercise our, our physical muscles, when we exercise our spiritual muscles, we'll, we'll start seeing more and more. It'll become easier and easier to flow with him, to hear yes. his voice, to start operating to where it just comes natural, that the screen yes. comes down and you're not taking it off because you're seeing this come down. And yes. the Lord's yes. showing you these things. It just yes. becomes natural, a part of who you are, who we were created to be. And so we just pray that over you guys that you yes. continue to open the eyes of your heart, to open your spiritual senses right now to give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of the hymn to where you've operated in a few words of knowledge we just say increase where you've operated yes, in Jesus. words of wisdom and prophecy the gifts of the holy spirit that yes. they would increase in your life right now that as boldness increases that the gifts yes. would just increase the operation and part of this is your responsibility yes. of stewarding the things that the lord has given yes. you when the Lord highlights those people, when you get those words of knowledge, when he gets those words of wisdom, you need to be obedient in those and give them. And maybe he's going to encounter you. Some of you he's encountering and giving you words of knowledge through your dreams. The Lord's given me and through dreams. We hadn't talked about that yet. That the Lord will give him through dreams. And I will wake up and I will, will know that people's backs and, and, and ankles need to be healed. My responsibility is not just to pray for them. If I know them, I contact them personally. And I say, hey, is this going on in your life? And they'll say yes. And then I'll pray for them and I'll see them five hours away healed. Uh, through a word of knowledge I received through a dream. So if he's speaking to you through dreams and through visions, write those things down, steward them, yes. pray those things out. I feel like I'm all over the place, man. What, what, <laughs> uh, so I just want to add on to, to yeah. tag two things here. I almost close the scripture verse. We'll probably close here. So open the eyes, enlighten of your understanding, your spiritual yeah. eyes. So Lord, right yeah. now in the name of Jesus, Lord, as my right wife now. said, with impartation, both yeah. Aaron, well, right now in the name of Jesus, we just release Jesus. right now. Right now, that you would open up the eyes of the spiritual understanding, Jesus. illumination, not right the now, Illuminati, Jesus. but illumination of Holy yeah. Ghost, Lord, because come on. Jesus, Jesus comes, He is the light of the world. Yeah, Lord, come on, he does illuminate that there is light from Him that shines the truth, the light, the righteousness of Him. And Father, right now in the Jesus. name of Jesus, we just impart everyone who's listening to receive into the spirit man and spirit woman right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we call Lord, them to come up, up to the next level that you have the destiny for their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just ask the Holy Spirit right now, call forth right now in the name of Jesus, come up higher right now. We just release it, Father. Lord, the Spirit yeah, of glory right wants now. to partner with with you with signs and wonders, Lord. Lord, right I just declare and decree, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, it's yeah. not by might, it's not by power. Father, I've learned that it's not always quoting the scripture verse. I know that may bust some people's theology. <laughs> Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, it's Come on. him personally and yeah. declaring the presence and declaring, say, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we command it to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, yeah. in the name of Jesus. And Father, as Aaron spoke earlier, Father, we come in agreement, Lord. I've seen over 20 metal healings <laughs> with screws, bolts, plates, with yeah. 14 inches of rod long in somebody's leg and seven inches in their arm and four inches of arm just in come their on. necks and different places. Well, right now, we just, if one will put a thousand to flight, two will put yeah. 10,000. Lord, right now, we're releasing our faith in the name of Jesus. Right we now. See anybody who has any bolts, screws and plates right, right now. now the lord it will dissolve holy spirit where we ask you that you would say you create right a name on the assignment Jesus. we just say turn them to bones right now in the right name now. of jesus, jesus. turn right. them into bones right now in the mighty right name now, of jesus. in the name of jesus lord i even see a i think it's a left ankle that's been shattered or twisted lord jesus that is just uh mangled up and uh, lord i just command lord it reminds me of india who you you straighten out that lady's leg Supernaturally, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I command right. that leg, Jesus. that ankle to pop out in the name of Jesus, supernaturally, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we yeah. thank you for what you're doing. We just impart, bless every person who's watching this in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, yeah. Amen. Come on.
All right. Man, it's always fun to fun with you guys, man. We have a blast, don't we? <laughs> well, the craziest thing is the Lord put me on my heart two days ago about it, and I'm like, you know what? I need to get on air on here. And by the way, Aaron is planning on going on his second mission trip with uh, Shark Champ to uh, Pakistan, and we are going to post a link uh, above this at the very end. Uh, if you feel led to, if you want to pray about it in your spirit and see how you can bless this brother, as you can tell, uh, it's turning his whole household upside yeah. down and, yeah. and, and on fire. I mean, even with yeah. now his son went on the mission trip and just yeah, he out and changed forever. People, I mean, yeah. he'll, he'll never be the same again. And the same thing with my daughter. I told her, I said, stick yeah. with me. Out of all the people, I was like, you'll see more healings and miracles. She's like, no, Dad, I want to go away. I'm like, no, stay with me. And, you know, I'm, like, I'm not puffing myself up, but I know. Yeah, yeah, like, you're point, operating in it. You're some operating of in what it. I was carrying and was expecting yeah. God to do some things. And and so we just say, just we want you to just consider and sewing into uh, the ministry. We're going to put the Facebook link in there. And then for myself, my my lovely wife, yeah. April, and I are planning on going to Joan Hunter in uh, September. Yeah, and come on. We're raising up twenty eight hundred dollars. We got close to about a thousand, a little bit shy of a thousand dollars to meet the needs there for flight, hotels, and be ordained under her ministry. And then we're going come on. in October to Randy Clark to his conference and be licensed under his ministry. So we got a lot of receiving, yeah. training, and partying. And after that, we just want to hit the road, Jack. Yeah, and and those people that sow in, whether you sow or whether you go, the reward's the same. Every miracle, every salvation that we see, you're an equal part in that. And the same thing is, is when Richard's going to Joan Hunter, she's got an amazing healing ministry, uh, just, just a really solid ministry. And the same thing with Randy Clark. When you sow into those things, you can receive an impartation from those things. And so uh, whenever I sow into something, I, 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 I always, I don't sow just to sow. I always attach a prayer. I always attach a scripture. I always say, hey, Lord, I want it all. But, I, but there's usually specific things that when I sow into ministries that I say, hey, Lord, this is what I see this in their ministry. I see the miracles. I hear the mental miracles yes. that Richard's seeing. I want to see more of my life. I'm just going to sow in their ministry. I'm going to honor their ministry and, and just receive that impartation receive that flow coming back to you and it's christ in them you know i honor their yes. ministry the miracles that they see the discerning of spirits that april uh operates in the deliverance that they operate in it's an amazing ministry to sow into and uh, i'm blessed and i'm stirred up every single time that i get around them and so uh you know uh you know, I, I just want to I just want to thank you guys because you're incur an encouragement for the body of Christ. And you guys are stewarding what the Lord's given you. And you can just see that he's increasing it right now in this season. He's really increasing it. And I just love Amen. it. So we're, we're going to do a, a spiritual exercise here. And uh, I always do. I, I never get comfortable. I feel like Sean Bolt sometimes. My wife was out there. Actually, she got on the stage with him, did an interview. Impromptu <laughs> last minute. And I'm thinking, man, this is great. And yeah. So we're going to do an impromptu. What I want you to do is just take your hands like this and just put it out in front of you. And yeah. we're going to ask the glory, the fire of God to just yeah. light your hands up and, and fill. And sometimes it's not always about the feeling. I, I know the scripture says, yeah, come on, not Lord. by sight. But I will promise you and tell you that 90% of the time when I see healing, there is a manifestation of fire in my body. It's Come on. DNA. I don't share that with everybody, but I'm telling you. Oh, I feel, and even though it may not be here, it's everywhere I go. I can feel the, 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 the I feel like a lightning bolt there. And it's like, pow. Come on. Oh, yeah. Bam. You know how it is. It's like, man, yeah. this is glory again. So, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just release your presence and your glory right now in the name of Thank Jesus. Thank you for encountering them. Father, yeah. we just said that when they come with you with the open hands, Father, that, Lord, that they yeah. are embracing Abba, Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And, yeah, Father, right, right, right now, now in the name of Jesus, I just release the fire angels right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just ask you, Holy Spirit, that you release that glory, Shekinah glory, that would just touch them from the top of her, to their heads to the soles of their feet, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, Father, I pray that you are close to near a broken heart. And Lord, the person, Lord, I'm feeling right now that has a crushed heart, a crushed attitude, a crushed, why is me, Lord Jesus? Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, right now yeah. in the name of Jesus, that you would move in a mighty way, that you would give a fresh wind. 
fresh wind right now in the name of Jesus into yeah. the cells of their mind. And Father, I just break off heaviness, Father, the yoke of heaviness right now in the name of Jesus. Let your Shekinah glory come right now. Right now. Feel the fire right. from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Let the fire tingling from go down their back, down their legs, down to their toes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And I want to just release yeah. it right now. Right now. It's your presence. It's your glory, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. Yeah. Lord, we thank the Holy Spirit what you're doing. We just want to just say, Abba, Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, and honor, and all yeah. the trophies before we get off this video. In Jesus' yeah. name. And, and go back. And there's people that have been healed on here already. Go back. If you have pain in your body, we pray for many things right now. But many, we had testimonies of knees being healed and other people being healed on here. Go back and watch the replay. I'm telling you that the anointing is there. There's no time. There's no distance in the spirit. The presence of the Lord is on the replay. He will meet you in your home where you were at and Amen. and uh, i'm telling you right now i just just what richard said i just come in agreement with that right now i just thank you for your tangible touch on their yes. lives right now i thank you for the knees that have been healed the feet yes. that have been healed i just thank you for the tangible touch in their bodies so just one more time right now we just release the healing power of god uh, right now, in Jesus' name, pain, flee those bodies right now, Bo uh, just just shoulders, ankles, wrists, bodies be healed right now, in Jesus' mighty name, check your bodies one more time, what do you got, you got eyes? Yeah, go to your, it's it's your right, it, it, you're just, it, he highlighted five times, it's wow. your right, but it's, it's going to be the left eye. So wow, come on, right, yeah, so eyes right now, someone's dealing with that right now. We just thank you for that healing in eyes right now in Jesus' mighty name. We command all that those eyes to be healed. All trauma, leave those eyes. We just we just curse all trauma against those eyes and just everything be made whole right now in Jesus' mighty name. We told those testimonies of blind eyes seeing. If God will do it for them, he'll do it for you. And so if that's you guys, comment down below. Let us yes. know. We want to we want to know the testimonies of what's going on. We want to know how Jesus is encountering you through this video. And if you have more prayer requests, can they put those in the video also and we can oh absolutely pray. absolutely yeah we'd love to pray for the you in there. a second and we'll pray for you guys if you if you have prayer requests down there too so man all this right. has been fun all right man it's been an hour and 45 minutes <laughs> oh holy ghost man we love you guys so much we honor your ministry and thank you for all you guys oh, are doing in the kingdom thank you and remember if if, if you have extra money you want to sow into aaron's mission trip I, i'm honoring him you know uh, wow. because there's where where you honor god will honor you and, and mm -hmm. i remember when god showed me what how holy spirit was touching charlie champ because he went for the homeless he went for the widows he went for the the orphanage he went for the the people that were hurting and god said when people humble themselves and reach those folks, and I'm not putting them in the class or anything else because they're as precious as I am. By the grace of God, we're blessed here in America. He said, if you go with that for Richard, he goes, I will honor you and bless you. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's so good, man. I love it. All right. It. So be good. blessed, everybody. Thank you for joining uh, our, uh, whew, I'm forgetting the name. <laughs> Lord, Come on, Holy Ghost. Glory stories. We just love I it. I take my Richard tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Love you guys. And everybody, that is another glory story for you. So I would just like to challenge you on the different things that you heard my guest talk about on the glory today to just get alone with God and asked him to help you cultivate his presence in your everyday life and see what kind of glory story that God wants you to be a part of.